Hello friends, welcome back. Arvind back again. So today we're going to talk about uh, how you can set your uh, nutrition or a diet plan depends on your goal or uh, depends on your current condition and um, how what is a step by step uh you can uh, plan your diet so that's what we're going to discuss today so maybe are you uh, maybe you are struggling with uh, what to eat and following that fad diets and you're really confused uh, how to create a diet so i thought of just making a video uh, out of that and you know this this gives you a basic foundation that how you can create your diet plan and how you can take your uh, fitness journey um, based on your goal okay so without further ado let's get started uh, with the today's video and um <clears throat> Thank you so much for uh, so far uh, so far supporting me and uh, helping my channel and uh, this is Arvind Padmaraju uh, I am in a mission of making 100k working professional physically and mentally uh, fit and healthy and also I want to create a new breed of healthy and fit kids so that will only happen uh, as a parent you and me uh, take a fitness as a lifestyle and uh, create that foundation from the home itself and your our kids will take uh, that foundation as a, a basic Uh, first step and also uh, take us as a inspiration or role model for to start their own fitness and um, uh, fitness journey so without further ado let's get started with the today's uh, video so let me get the presentation so this video will help you uh, if you are really struggling with what to eat and you know following some kind of a random diets or some other people's diet so this will give you the exact perspective how you can target your fitness journey and how you can actually start uh, creating your uh, diet plan which is more aligned with your current condition of your body and current uh, your uh, goal where you want to reach okay so we'll go in detailed uh, with the diet plan let's see uh today's uh, video how you can plan your diet the first thing before you start your diet uh, there are some of the things you need to keep in mind okay so have the right mindset before okay so whatever you want to do today or whatever you want to do with your uh, weight loss or a fitness journey have a mindset of whatever you want to do it you do it for a lifetime and whatever uh, you do it uh, whatever the plan you want to create create a plan which you can sustain it forever otherwise don't even start because you you want to lose by following a some kind of a strict diet for 3 to 6 months and then leave it then you will come back to where you started it doesn't make uh, much difference uh, you know if you don't have the long term mindset and also see what is existing patterns which is happening into your life before even you start your fitness journey which will give you a strong foundation that you know what what all the obstacles you can face before even you start your journey that will create a baseline okay just do uh, these two things and then get started with your journey so first step what you need to know uh, before you are starting a fitness journey is you need to find out what is your body fat percentage if you want to know details about what are the parameters you look maybe you can check my previous video where i spoke about what are the things you need to look into before you start your fitness journey right so uh, how do you find out your current body fat percentage there are a lot of online calculators you can um, a check how to find out what is your current body fat percentage otherwise this picture will definitely uh, give you a uh, rough idea where you are currently with your uh, current body fat percentage so these are the most uh, more uh, men and women so when i started my journey i was around 40% so from there i reached almost like 6 to 7% uh, body fat percentage maybe if you still did not see my transformation you can check my previous video i have explained about uh, in detail about my own journey my own struggles and how did i overcome and how did i progress with my journey and also for the women just see where you are currently so that it will give you the baseline this is the step number 1 you need to find out where you are currently and the step number 2 is you need to find out what is your goal either you want to lose fat or weight or you want to lose uh, you want to gain weight or a muscle so you need to know that how would you know how would you decide that you know how much your weight uh, whether you need to start a fat loss journey or a muscle gain journey so this two uh, factors will help you for example if you are below the healthy body fat percentage then you need to start with your muscle gain if you are uh, above the healthy state for example a overweight or obese category then you need to start with the fat loss journey these are the men and women for the first uh, uh, the picture here represents the women body fat healthy body fat percentage and the second picture um, illustrates uh, the men body fat percentage so it depends on uh, check where you are currently for example i was at overweight uh, uh, condition because i was actually at obese around above 40% 
ओके सो आई बॉट डाउन द टू हेल्दी रेंज ऑफ माई सॉरी द हेल्दी रेंज सॉरी आई वॉज अबाउट या दिस इज मैन दिस इज फॉर द मैन आई वॉज अबाउट फोर्टी परसेंट बॉडी फैट परसेंटेज आई बॉट डाउन द टू अ हेल्दी रेंज ऑफ एट टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट बिकॉज आई वॉज कंपीटिंग आई वेंट इवन बिलो दैट फॉर अ शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो दैट विल गिव यू द बेस लाइन वेर वॉट इज योर गोल ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ योर गोल इज अ फैट लॉस नेक्स्ट वी विल सी हाउ यू कैन सेट योर कैलरीज एंड अदर स्टफ या the next important step once you know that uh, once you know you decided to do a fat loss you need to find out how much of energy your body is required how do you calculate this basically your energy required uh, for your body di- uh, dictates by three important factors what are them actually four one is or uh, first one is the energy you use at rest for example if i'm sitting at the same place doing nothing my body burns some calories by doing a basic functionality of my body organ functioning blood flow and all of them burn some calories that's actually called as base metabolic rate 60 to 70% of your daily calories comes from your bmr which is uh, the calories which you burn at rest and the second important thing is the energy you burn by digesting the food the amount of food what you take will also get uh, uh, digested to, for a digesting there is a some calories burned so that calories is nothing but thermic effect of food the calories you burn while digesting the food okay and the third and fourth important thing is the overall activity what you do in a throughout a day for example the if you're burning some calories by doing a some kind of a, uh, exercise or um, uh, like a running jogging or something that is the um, calories you're burning at uh, uh, fo- uh, by uh, following exercise and all the other activities you do throughout a day from the time you get up to t- by the time you sleep like walking household stuff uh, uh, going to the commuting to the office and then going to nearest to a supermarkets walking all of them uh, is a non exercise activity the exercise activity the ex- uh, the activity what you do other than your exercise is considered as uh, physical activities you do throughout a day so these four factors actually decides what is your energy requirement the simplest way is uh, you can go to uh, halffit.com so i will just show you how you can calculate in a simple way uh, just give me a minute so you can go to halffit.com/resources so we have a calculator called calorie calculator basically you need to key in uh, your details so click on the calorie calculator so for example my age is uh, 35 say my height is 178 my current weight is 80 and for example you are doing like 3 to 5 days thing so my actual uh, my body required calories are 2700 so that this way you can actually calculate uh, so you can also try your own uh, uh, calories by going to this website okay so once you know your uh, energy requirement next you need to see what is required to do a fat loss if you go to my previous video i explained you what is energy balance you require uh, for a fat loss for a fat loss you need to be in a calorie deficit that means you need to eat less than your body required calories or you need to be in a negative energy balance so once you know the negative energy balance how you can set a calories the best way is uh, start with the 10 to 30% less than your calories for example um, my body requires say 2700 i can start anywhere between uh, 1800 to 2000 would be a good start which is uh, 10 to 30% of less than your uh, body required calories okay that is a step number 4 and the step number 5 is you need to know what you exactly you need to eat in that calories that's called as macronutrients so the foods what you eat you get it uh, you get the macronutrients from the food what you eat okay so basically um, all your uh, the foods what you would daily consume it could be rice uh, whatever may be the uh, wheat what i can say chapati or pasta whatever you eat there is some kind of a macronutrients you get from the, those foods so basically we have uh three main important macronutrients one is a protein so i'll i'll explain you each one by one so let's go step by step so the first one is uh protein so let's see why protein is important so protein uh, is a most important macronutrient uh from uh, your diet what you need to consume it makes sure that you know you it ensures that your growth and development of your muscles bones your hair and skin are maintained at the uh, accurate level so that's why the protein is most important so the protein 1 gram has a four calories calories are nothing but the uh, the measurement of the energy uh, so 1 gram of a protein if you consume that uh, it gives you four calories of energy 
and what is required for uh, protein you need to uh, take in your uh, day to day uh, requirement is anywhere between uh, 0.8 or 1 gram uh, to 2 grams into target body weight for example i am at say 100 kgs my target ideal uh, healthy uh, uh, weight or a body fat percentage say 15% it comes to say around um, 20% of body fat i need to lose so the your target weight could be um somewhere around 80 kgs then at least 80 80 kgs 80 grams of protein you need to consume okay that is a minimum requirement if you are doing a more activity then you can increase it to 1.2 to 1.5 okay so the best accurate way if you want to uh, calculate you need to know the uh, lean body mass what is a lean body mass is if you remember my previous video when i explained about your total body weight uh, consists of organs uh, then you have the muscle mass then you have the uh, essential body fat percentage excess body fat percentage and bones all of them together is your body weight when you remove your uh, both essential and uh, excess body fat from the overall weight that's your lean body mass you can also calculate 1 to 2 grams into lean body mass for the accurate one okay so anywhere between uh, in in my in the example which i anyhow i'll explain you in the example so this is the minimum required and what are the some of the food sources uh, where you get a protein is these are the some of the sources in case of non veg you have chicken eggs fish beef meat all of them has a very good um, uh, protein sources and when it comes to vegetarian you have soya chunks lentils chana dal beans paneer greek yogurt sprouts tofu cheese whey so all of them are a good protein sources so whenever you uh, create a diet make sure that your 80 grams are coming up from the foods uh, which you normally eat or uh, from these okay, uh, these foods these food sources you can choose them okay so that is on the protein so the next important macronutrient is a fat So let's see what why the fat is important and what you exactly get from the fat. So most of the times you may heard about you know fat makes you fat. It, uh, fat alone doesn't make you fat. The overall energy you give it to your body is what makes you fat. So what is why the fat is most important is it helps you in uh, cell growth, blood clotting. It builds a new cells into your body. It reduces the risk of heart disease and type two diabetes. It also helps you in uh, muscle movement and uh, balancing your blood sugar levels and brain functioning, uh, vitamin and mineral absorption and hormone functioning, immune function. There are a lot of benefits of uh, fat. That's why you should never neglect, uh, you know, uh, cutting down complete fat. So at least you need to consume the minimum fat. What is required. Required for your body. Okay, so one gram of uh, fat has nine calories, and uh, the energy required, uh, the requirement of for a body is 0.6 to 0.8 grams into tar target body weight or a lean body mass. For example, if your lean body mass is say around 70 kgs, approximately you need 35 to 50 grams of fat. You need to consume every single day. Some of the good fat sources are all the oils, avocado, nuts, cheese, butter, paneer, egg yolks. These all are uh, the fat sources. you can mix with all of them to get your minimum fat requirement the next important macronutrient is carbohydrate so carbohydrate also has a major uh, benefits so the carbohydrates are the one of the main source of your energy and uh, it will help you to perform all the tasks it help you in immune system brain functioning nerve system and digestive functioning all of them uh, would be the some of the benefits of you consuming a carbs so carbs has 1 gram of a carb has 4 calories and uh, the rest of the calories for example you are consuming say in my example 2000 calories i give uh, 80 calories 80 grams from uh, protein and then remaining 50 grams from fat the remaining cal remaining calories whatever is left over out of 2100 after i remove protein and fats the rest of the calories i can uh, eat from the carbohydrates so or you can mix and match however you want okay and what are the uh, main types of uh, carbohydrates there are mainly two types of carbohydrates the complex carbohydrates and the simple carbohydrates what is the difference the how fast uh, the food uh, get digested and converted into a sugar into your blood okay so that that dictates whether it is a complex carbs and or a ca simple carbs so basically you also called as glycemic index and uh, every food has a digest uh, how fast it digests and converts as a sugar based on that uh, uh, you have a uh, different food sources so first let's see the complex carbs so some of the complex carbs are brown rice pasta wheat flour poha veggies fruits 
and uh, quinoa and then oats so these are the some of the things are complex carbs you must and should include uh, from the carbs at least 70 to 80% of your carbs should come from the carb complex carbs because they are in high in fiber anyhow i'll discuss about the fiber in the coming uh, point and uh, make sure that you include 80% from the complex carbs the next one is a simple carbs simple carbs such as all the sugars white sugar any kind of a sugar what you consume and then fruit juices so the cool drinks and um, the white bread pasta and rice white rice all of them comes under simple carbs but uh, try to limit the usage keep it around 20 to 30% on your carb intake but some of the simple carbs can be included like rice rice pasta honey and wheat bread can be included because they are uh, they are uh, good uh, for a body so what you need to avoid is a straight forward sugars fruit juices and drinks and fast foods all of them you can avoid because they spikes up your uh, insulin levels in your body so try to have the balance in both of them so it, it, it doesn't mean that you have to completely avoid limit your simple carbs uh, usage have it in moderation that's that's uh, one of the important thing and uh, carbs also has an important thing called fiber fiber is the most important for your body because it helps you in the gut health it helps it helps you in the um, uh, helps in the digestion it helps you to uh, not to go into a constipation during the your fat loss journey and also it helps you in a good bacteria on your gut so which will improve overall um, your digestion so every uh, 1000 calories you consume at least you need to give 15 grams of fiber so most of the things fiber has it in all the complex carbs has a good amount of fiber brown rice wheat flour uh, brown poha veggies fruits and oats all of them has a very good source of fiber so try to include at least uh, 20 to 25 grams or 30 grams of fiber into your meals so this is on the carbohydrates so this is so whenever you create a diet make sure that it is a mix of don't compromise on protein and fats and add to have the balanced meal when i say balanced meal what does it mean is it has a combination of protein fats and carbohydrates uh, in every meal what you eat okay so the next important thing for example if i explain you an example for example if a person requires at 2100 calories a diet and he is at around say his target body weight is 80 kgs basically he need to consume 50 grams of protein so if i multiply 50 grams into 4 calories 380 calories is consuming from the protein and the remaining 50 calories is consuming for the fat the fat is exactly like 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 it comes to 50 grams and it is around 400 and 50 calories you are consuming it if you see uh, 450 plus 320 it comes to 770 calories if i minus that from 2100 the overall calories left is 1430 uh, you can consume them from the carbs by if you divide by four it comes to 350 calories or maybe you can increase a little bit of uh, fat and a little bit of uh, protein depends on your own convenience so this is how you can divide your calories okay so hope that is uh, you get the you got uh, how you have to plan your uh, protein fats and carbs on your diet so the next uh, module we will see how you can create a meal plan so basically once you know these inputs then creating a meal plan could be very simple okay so how you create your meal plan make sure that you distribute your meal into equal proportions and um, and make sure that you have you choose the foods right now whatever you have uh, given like protein fats and carbohydrates try to keep your foods whatever you existingly you are eating from last 10 years 15 years or 20 years don't try to change and there is no need to be a uh, fancy uh, diet or you know you need to create a new diet you know there is no wonder happens with having that fancy diet what is most important is as long as you're getting this a balanced diet uh, which the, your diet has a uh, protein fats and carbohydrates you can still create with the, the foods what you are existing eating what it the, what it does is it creates a flexibility and sustainability that you know you can follow that diet for a long period of time okay so choose your foods before you're creating choose your foods from your existing food sources that is a, a point number one and the next thing is keep your diet flexible so don't try to restrict and avoid all kind of your favorite foods the best um, split what I uh, got from my own experience and my own clients uh, experience is 80% of uh, nutritionist food and 20% of your favorite foods for example 2100 calories I give at least 
1600 to 1700 calories comes from all this uh, balanced uh, nutrition food and around uh, 300 to 400 i'll keep it for my favorite food it could be a chocolates it could be any any foods which you actually uh, enjoy or you want to make part of your uh, diet and one uh, caution here if you have any kind of uh, temptation of the food for example for me uh, if i uh, start eating a peanuts i can't resist them so those kind of a foods try to avoid it don't try to add them in the start because you start consuming them and you know even little quantity will put you into a higher calorie uh, consumption so try to avoid them if you have that kind of a, a pattern or anything other foods uh, where you can resist with them so you can include them as part of your diet and the third important thing is uh, you need you must and should consume minimum protein fats and fiber there is no compromise on this because otherwise there is a high chance of if you don't have enough protein during this journey there is a high chance of you losing your muscle mass and your overall metabolism can go lower okay so that we don't want it and make sure that you consume fats as well because uh, it, it has a lot of other benefits okay and fiber is very important because of the gut health okay don't don't compromise on that step number four is eat enough uh, fruits because you get other, other than macronutrients uh, micronutrients um, sorry other than macronutrients you also require a micronutrients micronutrients are nothing but the vitamins and minerals you get that from the fruits what you eat at least have a mix of fruits whatever you get a seasonal fruit you can have it 100 to 200 grams every single day keep it part of your diet okay and also eat veggies in each meal at least 200 grams so at least you need uh, anywhere between a uh, 250 to 400 grams of uh, fruits in overall uh, meal consumption and other things you don't need to keep in mind is it doesn't matter what time you eat it doesn't matter how big meal you eat it doesn't matter what time you eat it doesn't matter having a multiple small meals what is most important is what you consume in every single day is it enjoyable are you able to enjoy your diet are you able to uh, the, the diet what you create creating is fitting into your lifestyle is most important and as long as you are within your calories and you can plan however you wanted it there is no magic here as per the scientific principle as long as you are in a calorie deficit you will start keep losing your weight but what is most important is having a balanced diet will give you that you know overall metabolism can go high you can you can preserve as much of muscle mass so that it will improve your metabolism and also you don't go into a vitamin deficiencies because of you following a balanced diet so keep these things in the mind and uh, hope this whole thing uh, helped you so if i wanted to uh, just to revise or recap whatever we discussed first step make sure that you know you find out your current body fat percentage and decide based on your goal either it could be a fat loss or a muscle gain and find out what is your current body required calories and uh, accordingly you set a calorie uh, target if you are in a weight loss then you need to eat less than your uh, body required calories if you are in muscle gain then try to increase more than your uh, body required calories and the next step would be setting a micro macronutrients like proteins fats and carbs and the um, uh, uh and uh, how you can set your example and the last thing is creating a meal plan so make sure that you create uh, you create a diet with your existing foods you keep diet is flexible you eat minimum protein fats and fiber and you eat enough fruits and you eat enough uh, veggies and that's all hope you had uh, a great value you found great value with the whatever we discussed so far if it is yes valuable just say uh, in the below that you know it's so valuable and it you it added it it gave you a lot of clarity on how you created a how to create your diet and i just wanted to uh, tell you one more thing so um, it's always focus on a long term approach uh, learn as much as possible the more knowledge you have the better flexibility it creates during this journey and if you feel that you are stuck with your journey you need any kind of a help i have put across a small training uh, which is where i talk about uh, three important secrets where you need to uh, focus on before even you start a fitness journey you can actually access that video on uh, below the description i put on a link and at the end of the uh, training i have a surprise for you that you know you can book for a one to one consultation which is absolutely free and uh, i i i want to help you to you know uh, take you to your desired goal and i wanted to understand what is your real pain points and what is your real goal and see if if we both are a right fit i'm uh, i will be glad to help you to you know uh, assist you to reach your fitness goal so take the um, benefit of that and at the end 
building your habits is only way you can build fitness and uh, think about uh, making a fitness as a lifestyle don't do uh, don't go into a shortcuts fad diets it will actually make uh, your journey more worse and uh, more damage to your health and fitness so focus on a long term approach taking a thing slowly and uh, focus on building your fitness as a lifestyle see at the end as a parent you and me doesn't create that environment in our home that you know as a parent you and me doesn't know what to do with our own health and fitness regime you can never give uh, or you can never your kids can never able to understand what is importance of you know having this regime into their own life so building and putting our own effort to learn and uh, uh, follow this health and fitness regime will also give a strong foundation for them and also they take you as a role model and build fitness as a part of their own uh, lifestyle as well okay so hope that helps and uh, thank you so much uh, for listening so patiently to me if you are still new to our channel please subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you will be notified when i post my new video and till then arvin signing off and please do share this uh, video if you feel that you know any it can make any value to any of your friends and family and keep supporting us and uh, let's all um, together create a healthy and fit world and where we create a strong foundation for uh, our, our kids and uh, we we help them uh, we help to create the next breed of healthy and fit kids arvin signing off thank you guys bye bye